Hey cuties, I'm Lenikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is the general the General Hospital. This is General Hospital edition. This is actually from Friday's episode, which was 7-1-2022. All right, let's get right on into it, y'all. So on this episode, dang, I'm gonna start. Oh, that's going into Young and the Races. So on a scale of one to ten, you know what? I actually enjoyed this episode. Um, so I might give it about a 7.5. There was, it was a solid episode and it's moving the story forward, which is, you know, that's all you can have hope for in soap land. All right. So we see that, I, I don't know why, what it is, but they had Finn, Gregory and Chase on there. And if there is something about them that. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. If I didn't have to review this, if I wasn't reviewing this for you guys, I probably would have fast forward through them. And it has nothing to do with them per se. It's just, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. About, you know what? It's Finn. <laughs> I think he's boring. <laughs> That's what it is. Because when I watch Chase scenes, I can get through them. Even that scene Gregory had with Alexis, I got through it, but it's just something about Finn. It's boring to me. But anyways, Chase updates them on what's going on with his life and how he is. Um, his suspension has been extended. He tells them why, and they say, we never think of you as violent or anything like that. You're passionate, and you really care for Brooklyn, and they like Brooklyn and everything. Um, and so they just say you know, what are you going to do? And he says, you know, he's just going to have to plead his case. Um, and he says, I'm not sorry for what I did to Lincoln. They said, well, you can't go in there saying that. <laughs> he said, I know, but I'm not. He's not sorry. Link deserved it. And Link is a jerk, but you got to be able to keep your cool. And that's what he was telling them. And um, so he's going to try to find work because he's not getting paid right now. Now he's suspension without pay. Um, so anyways, they see Brooklyn and then they, you know, Finn and, and Chase are like, it's Finn and um, Gregory are like, oh, I got something to do. Uh, I got to go to the hospital, a meeting. And Gregory's like, I got to write my book. And so they leave and um, Brooklyn goes up to Chase and everything. Now, Brooklyn had been with Sonny earlier because, you know, she was like, Uncle Sonny, she need help. I need help. So she tells him everything about Link and Chase or whatever. And she says, you know, so can you help him? And he tells her no. And I said, well, Sonny, who can you help now? <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't need to know. I don't need to know a mob boss if a mob boss can't help me. And so she, he said, he said, no, I can't help him. He said, because it would make him look like a dirty cop. It would make Chase look like a dirty cop because he says they would be like, well, how he get this help and all that kind of stuff. And she said, oh, I didn't think about that. So when Sonny was talking about you, he said, I'm sorry I couldn't make Link sing like a canary. And she said, oh my gosh, Son Uncle Sonny, I, I know you're you're um so smart or something. She said, I, I know what I need to do. And he was like, yeah, okay. Let me bring my cup up. Thank you. And so she said, okay. And so then he left or whatever. So, uh, I mean, she left or whatever. And so that's when she goes and meets Chase. All right. So let's get into these other people on this soap. And we see Carly and Olivia. So Carly and Olivia are talking right. And, okay, so it's Josh and, Tr Josh and Trina are at the Metro Court, you know, enjoying the, the summertime. They look teens. They enjoying their little summertime spot or whatever. So Carly see, comes up and Josh is like, Mom, are you okay? And she was like, yeah, baby, I'm, I'm good. And she said, you seem distracted. And then that's when Olivia comes up and Olivia's like, oh my gosh, Carly, I'm so sorry. And Carly was like, I'll, I'll talk to you in the back or whatever. And Josh is like, everything going okay, mom? She's like, yeah, yeah, baby, don't worry about it. Everything is all good. So then Carly goes and speaks to Olivia and she says, I, um, you know, I didn't know Ned was going to vote that way and, and, and all this. And she says, I know. She said, she said, um. Carly, what, what does this mean for you in the Metro Court? She said, the Aurora stock is falling. And she said, you know, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out where to buy it. And she says, uh, Michael and Drew, you know, she's like, Ned just left them, you know, blowing in the wind. They trying to figure out what they're going to do about Aurora. And so Olivia, just, I'm not going to hold you long. Listen, it's days later, <laughs> new episode tomorrow. I'm not going to hold you long. So it's my father's days late. But anyways, um, Olivia says, I'm going to buy it. I'll buy your half or whatever. And she says, Olivia, do you have the um, liquid asset, you know, to be able to do it? And she said, well, I'm going to have to talk to Ned. She'll, uh-uh. <laughs> Carla said, uh-uh. 
No, <laughs> I'm cool. I said, girl, you better put your pride aside and get your hotel back. She said, uh, uh-uh, uh, no, I'm cool. I don't want, I don't want his help. You know, and she says, well, where are you? You you would feel like you're betraying Michael and Drew. She said, no, I feel like I'm betraying myself if I let, you know, Ned help me or whatever. So she don't want Olivia's help. So Olivia said, well, if you ain't going to get my help and you don't want nobody else's help, you better talk to that ex-husband of yours who owes you about 500 times or something, she said. And you, because you know, when Carly went through the divorce with Sonny, all she wanted was the home. She just wanted to be able to raise Donna in the home. So that's why Sonny is staying in there, like the penthouse or whatever. Because Carly wanted the house. And she didn't want anything else. She didn't want no money. She didn't want to split assets. She told him you could keep it all or whatever. And, you know, he was going to he was gonna give it to her. Because he was really, they were both really like, let's just get a divorce. But she didn't want anything. And Carly was good because she had Metro Court. Didn't nobody tell mama to go and put it up. Like, what? what's wrong with you? And so, Carly didn't mean, you know, she's not supposed to, she not probably going to take this money from Sonny. But Sonny is there because he got to meet Nina. So, he's not really there to see Carly anyways. All right. So, that's enough with them because it's done with them. So, then we go to, um, who else was on this show today? So, then we go to Ava. Child, we're going to go to Ava. Scott. So Ava and Scott are talking or whatever. And he was like, well, I thought you didn't want like he but he, he told her, look, Nicholas bust down the assets 50-50. And he said, So y'all getting a divorce to get me married? And she said, Yes. And this is my him was way of proving that he trusts me because he's giving me this force, giving me half of everything. And then we're gonna get back together, and you know, it's gonna all be good again. And he was like, okay. And so she said, um, so Nicholas shows up, right? So when Nicholas shows up, they're going they're they're going through it for the divorce and everything. And um, and so Esme is lurking in the corner, y'all. Y'all know Esme, my girl, because I know y'all don't like her, but I, I like the way she acts. She can really put she really playing this role. So Esme is lurking in the corner. And I said, Esme, please don't do this. And Esme was thinking about Nicholas. I said, Well, Mama, do you like Nicholas? I'm confused because I thought you was just doing this for your daddy. And you really like Spencer, and he hurt you by not trust believing you. you. Like when she found out he really didn't believe her, I thought she hurt. But now you're thinking about Nicholas and stuff. Or maybe she was just thinking about Nicholas because she was thinking about, I got this information on him that I know he hasn't told his wife. But either way, they're going through with the divorce and everything. And um, they say Mar Martin is late, but they say, that's all right. You know, Scott, we trust you. Let's just go ahead and sign these on these dotted lines. And here come Esme. Oh, my God, Mr. Kessenine, I thought you weren't going to tell. I said, girl, sit you. <laughs> a mess and a half. And so Ava and Scott looking like, What's going on here? And Nicholas says, Esme, um, we're getting a divorce, but we're getting remarried. And, you know, he explained. She said, oh. And he, she was like, what are you, what were you talking about, Esme? This is Ava. And Esme said, well, I know y'all had, had problems. And he was thinking about divorce and separation, but he was really in love with you. And he didn't want that. So I, I thought y'all were going to separate. And he was like, no. And she said, well, Mr. Castadine, can I see you, speak to you in private? And Ava said, well, what you got to tell Nicholas you can't say in front of me? And she said, well, I was planning a surprise for Spencer and I just wanted to get his thoughts. And Nicholas, guilty as all get out, he, he just wanted to get Esme away from the table. He said, I'm going to go with her real quick. So he gets up or whatever. <clears throat> And she tells him, I just wanted to know, can I borrow your vehicle? Because I want to take go cruising with Spencer later on or whatever. And he said, yeah, but like you could have asked me that in front of Ava. And she said, well, I also wanted to know, can you help me with my internship? Kevin got me kicked out. Um, He's being totally unreasonable. He got me kicked out or whatever. And I was wanting to know, could you help me? And, and Nicholas was pretty much like, no, he's not going to help her. And then she said, this is my karma for sleeping with my boyfriend's dad. So then Nicholas like, you know what? I am going to help you. <laughs> I sure am going to help you because, um, yeah, yeah, sounds about right. And so she throws, oh, my God, Mr. Castle, I thank you so much. So she hugging all up on him and stuff. I said, this girl going to use Nicholas until um, it's over with. Did y'all hear the spoiler? That Esme, okay, because you know Willow is pregnant, right? That the spoiler is that Esme is supposed to use Willow's baby to trick Nicholas. Did y'all hear that? I don't know either. I don't know how true that is, but 
and how this all gonna work out. But it's the soap, so y'all know how it go. But anyways, so um, Nicholas gonna help her get get back in the Stone Ridge. Is it Stone Ridge or Sh Shady Brooks? It's Stone Ridge. Anyway, he gonna help her get back into the prison so that she can get access to Kevin again. Um, so that's that with that. So then we see. I can't stand Spencer. He's so funny to me, though. So then we see Spencer and Cam. So he go to Cam, and Cam um, is irritated by him or whatever, because he was like, you don't know nothing about work or whatever, because Cam having to work and all that. And he's, and so Nick Spencer is talking to Cam, and he tells him, I found Esme's mom. And he was like, what? Tell me how that's going to work out. He said, but well, how does that help Esme? Confess to Trina. How does that help Trina? He said, because I'm going to tell Esme if you want the location and stuff for your mom, you got to confess to what you did with Trina or whatever. And I'm going to record her confession and then send it so it can be reasonable doubt. I'm going to let her, I'm going to give her about a week to get away and then give it to Trina so it can be reasonable doubt. And he said, so how did you find her mom? He said, I didn't, Uncle, Uncle Victor did. And she's in Portugal. And they got DNA samples and all this stuff. And, and they made sure it was true. And, and he, he really giving it to Cam. And Cam like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. This is great news. I'm so happy. He said, so you believe it? He said, yes. He said, good. That means Esme going to believe it. And Cam said, what are you talking about? Because, <laughs> first of all, he told us. Kim said, how were you able to get DNA tests or whatever? He said, money talks. I said, I can't stand this little brat. <laughs> Damn, money talks. <laughs> and then, so then uh, Kim was like, what? This ain't true. He said, no, but I just needed to know if it was believable. Now, Cam was upset at first, but he said, but yeah, you did a good, that was a good plan or whatever. He said, what made you believe it? He said, the DNA test. So Cam said, how you going to, you, Uncle Victor, Victor can fake a DNA test? He said, no, that's where you come in. So he wants to get Carly and Jocelyn DNA so that um what you know I don't know if they said it on the episode but that's what um the spoiler said yeah they did say it he wants to get Carly and Jocelyn's DNA because of course it's gonna be a match so that'll make you know as and I guess they're gonna switch the names around as may think that it's a match or whatever which is I guess is what they're gonna have um what's her name Britt do and so he was like. <laughs> He told, he told Cam. So, all right, you get on that with getting their uh, matching everything, and um, I'll talk to you later. And he goes to her <laughs> like conversation over. I said, sir, bring yourself back. And Cam was me. Uh, I am not your minion. You can't just tell me something and go. I said, this boy got too much money, and he is a jerk, but I like me some Spencer. So Cam said, no, if I have to do this, you're going to be in it with me, too. And he was like, I can't. They're not going to want, you know, I'm not going to, they're not going to want me around or whatever. And he said, that's why you're perfect to do it. So they go over there to try to get this done right. Now, Josh and Trina are already are at Mitchell Court because they know they're going to be at Mitchell Court. So they're at Mitchell Court and uh, Trina is feeling Josh in uh, everything with Rory, you know, seeing Rory and Esme and all of them or whatever. And she's telling her everything that Rory did. And she said, he put her on notice. I said, I like this little Trina. I like the new Trina. I know some people are still like, oh, no, I miss the old one. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I like this one better. <laughs> I didn't never really like the older tree, old Trina. I don't know, but I like this one better. But anyways, um, so she's telling her all about Rory. And she said, so Rory like you, huh? She said, maybe. And, and Josh was like, but so you like Rory too? Maybe. I said, girl, ain't no maybe about it. And Spencer going to be upset. So anyways, they talk or whatever. And so she fills her all in. And then Cam comes up and he tells him, I'm going to go and talk to Josh. And then you come through or whatever. Tell Spencer that. So Cam goes up and he talks to Josh. And she said, "Is everything okay? Because it don't. You seem nervous or anxious or something like that." And then here come Spencer. Was like, "Okay, it's time for me to go." Child, as man, Spencer. What are you doing here? I said, "God, dog, you can't never do anything without Esme coming around." Let me just check my notes because I believe that's the end of this episode, y'all. I, I don't care what people say. Hey, y'all always um try to tell me about the episode like i like the teen stories and when the teens are on here 
I can sit here and watch these episodes. It, it makes it better for me because they have the best. Like, if they were older, this, oh, Lord, I say that's the end of it. We, we got to talk about Sasha. You know what? I hate the way they're doing Sasha. The So she meeting with this reporter, that sleazy reporter or whatever, and he gave her pills. She don't even know what she about to take. She said, though, I don't I don't recognize those. What are those? And he says, they're um, prescription and all that. Girl, <laughs> you got to have better access to a pill. Like, where are your old girl, for, girl that used to give you your pills? Because that, what are you doing? You don't even know what you're taking, but she take them from him because she all stressed out about, you know, going on and promoting the brand. So then she takes the pills from him and it allows him to have backstage passes, excuse me, or whatever to the, the, um, the, it's like a, a, a home network shopping network with they're going on to, to promote deception. All right. So Lucy and Maxie are at the office. And they find out that the woman who is interviewing Sasha really loves their brands and she's going to wear their lipstick, but she wants to change, make changes to how they're going to do um, the product placements and whatever, introduce their products. So they tell Sasha this and then they say, we just need to make a few notes. So then they said, give her all these white cue cards. I said, nah, y'all wrong for this. Nah. I don't know why Sasha just won't tell them I'm anxious. This gives me anxiety. Like, let me just be the girl that gets on Instagram, you know, and pose. It's real cute or whatever. Or maybe, um, you know, do that and not actually have to go and meet and introduce. And they say, we're, we're so anyway, so they're fussing and talking and, and they're giving Sasha anxiety until she snaps on them. And, you know, it's like enough. And they're like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, y'all don't, y'all still don't see that something ain't right here. And they were like, are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. We're just so excited and all this. I was like, girls, like y'all not friends. Like y'all don't see what's going on here. And so, anyways, Sasha is just overwhelmed. So when Lucy and Maxie leave the office, this girl take a pill. I said, girl, you don't even know what you take. You don't know what you take. And this brand could have gave you anything. You don't know. And apparently from the spoilers, he gave us something she's not used to because this is going to be a mess. And that was um, them today on uh, General Hospital. I'm not going to hold you long on that. And that was General Hospital, guys, uh, for Friday. Uh, I hope you had a great holiday weekend, and I will see you tomorrow for a new episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Even if you don't subscribe, that's okay. I'll still be giving you these videos. But hit that like button for me, please. Thanks. Bye.